Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use your Guitar Hero World Tour drum kit on your PC. So we're turning your gaming controller into electronic drum kit, which is pretty good. Just a couple of things. Firstly, the drum kit has to be either the Xbox 360 or PS3 version, since the Wii isn't supported yet. And you will need a Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows if you have the 360 version. So um, you can purchase one of them from EB Games, eBay, or your local game shop, or wherever you buy your 360 games from, they should have it. And another thing, if you have the Rock Band 2 drum kit, this software isn't currently working with it. However, the author of the program, Magnus, is interested in adding support however he can't because he doesn't have a Rock Band 2 drum kit so if you do have a Rock Band 2 drum kit and can provide Magnus with some data just send him an email on his email address is on the right hand side there and um, hopefully in a later version we should have Rock Band 2 drum kit support so yeah anyway back to the tutorial First thing you need to do is download Loop B1, so we can just Google that. And you can go to the first link, download on the left hand side, and download setup Loop B1 here. Just click and save file, install, and if it asks you to reboot, do so. If you have the Xbox 360 version, you'll have to install the wireless receiver software that came bundled with the uh, the wireless receiver itself so just install that from your CD if you didn't get a CD just google the software if it asks you to reboot do so next thing you'll need is ASIO for all search for that uh, the first link is what you want and then just click download for the English version here Okay, once you have ISO for all, we'll need FL Studio. Google that. FL Studio is a digital audio workstation, and it's the first link here. Why are we using FL Studio? Well, because it's... main reason is it's because it's very simple to use. So for someone that has no idea of computer audio and um, creating music and things... FL Studio is a, is a good learning program, so that's what we're going to be using in our tutorial. So you can get the demo version by clicking at the top right here, Demo. And then you can download from either link here. It's about 90 megs, so just be patient when you download. And once it's downloaded, just uh, install the software and you'll be good to go with that. Next thing is you'll need addictive drums. You can search for that in Google. And it's the first link. There is uh, other software similar uh, to addictive drums. However, I found that addictive drums produces the most realistic drum sounds on a software level compared to any other program. Also, too, it's very customizable for what it is, so that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial. You can download it by hitting the download uh, link at the top here in the download section, and then we need to hit the demo version on the top left. And then you can download Addictive Drums demo for PC here. It's about 196 meg, so just be patient and let it download. Once it's finished downloading, just install. Okay, and lastly, we need uh, another piece of software, and you can enter the URL www.drop.io forward slash 360 MIDI drummer. Hit enter, and then just uh, download. Point version 031 is the current version of the software at the time, this tutorial. So just hit download, extract the zip file, and you don't need to install this. So, and that'll be good to go. 
So we have our uh, software, now we can close Firefox, open up FL Studio. If you are presented with a demo song, don't worry, just hit File, New from Template, and go Minimal and Empty. And now we need to configure FL Studio, so we hit MIDI settings in the options, and make sure Loop you want internal MIDI is enabled, so make sure that's enabled there. And now we go to the audio section and make sure ASO, ASIO for all version 2 is selected. And then we hit the show ASIO panel. And make sure the buffer size is about 512 samples. If you experience um, clipping or distortion in audio, uh, just make sure uh, your buffer size, try increasing it and that should fix your problem. So we can exit that, close that, and we can now add addictive drums. For, for the first time doing this, we need to search for addictive drums, so we hit the more right here, and we need to hit refresh and fast scan. That should find addictive drums once you had installed it after downloading it, and it should appear in red somewhere above around the VST plugin section and you just need to uh, select it and then you can close that and now we can add it to our project so we go channels add one addictive drums and there we go this is addictive drums this is the full version in front of you as you can see it has the complete drum kit I'll go into more detail in the next video uh, for now we're just getting our drum kit hooked up so we can minimize FL Studio and open up the PS360 MIDI drummer that we extracted before and open it up now you can set all your drum pads to the numbers I have in my screen if you wish to change them you can uh, however the blue and green drum pad will not work for you, You, as in those numbers will not work for you since I have the full version which includes the Tom Tom so if you wish to change that you can uh, to hi-hats or whatever else you have but just yeah muck around with whatever numbers you like and now we can put in uh, the wireless receiver plug it into your computer plugged in, turn on your drum kit and the 360 drums were found. So now when we go back to FL Studio and select addictive drums and just to test it and the kick pedal there we go, everything's working. To continue on this tutorial uh, watch the next video which will show you more in depth of addictive drums and recording and some other things so stay tuned for that